This is Todd. So just to set this one up, this was a recent trip to Bob Cage in Ontario. And I get there and I'm supposed to go walleye fishing at 4 a.m. the next morning. So I'm supposed to be in bed at the time that you see on this video. Uh, but instead I find myself walking across town to go shore fishing. I only have maybe 15 more minutes before it gets dark. So here I am walking over there. I don't have very much sound equipment with me. The sound isn't very good. The only thing you can hear me saying is no effing way because when I catch a fish doing this on my first cast, I'm shocked. It's not huge, but I'm just so shocked that I caught anything. But I have to try this. On the way up from Pittsburgh, I listened to this book on audio called How to Think Like a Fish by Jeremy Wade, the River Monsters guy. The book is really good. Um, but this is one cast, one fish. Right here, there are people fishing on the other side, and they're fishing in this slack water where the water spins off and slows down, and that's where a lot of the big fish are going to be in the slow-moving water right to the side so they can feed on anything that's unlucky enough to get sucked into the water source. Same thing right here. Water's coming through the dam, and it's spinning off to the right. And there was a gentleman fishing right where I walked up and started fishing myself. He was fishing this slack area also. So these are both highly pressured areas and those are common areas to fish. But what Jeremy Wade talks about in the book, How to Think Like a Fish, which is really good by the way, way better than River Monsters. River Monsters is mostly, you know, can this fish eat you? Can that fish eat you for a general audience? It's a really good series for people not particularly into fishing, but How to Think Like a Fish goes into the nuts and bolts of actual where to find oxygenated water, what type of line to use, what type of knots to tie. I learned a lot. I knew a lot that was in there, but I learned a lot. So one of the things he talks about is water being three-dimensional. And it doesn't just spin off to the left and spin off to the right. It also spins underneath. And when the water is going underneath and back towards the original water source, fish can sit there without having to work that hard. They can also look upward and see a silhouette of anything that's coming through the dam. So if there's an area where water is going backward towards the dam, that's going to be a really hot spot to fish. You just never know until you try. So the only place I'm fishing on this evening is one or two casts literally into the water source. I'm using a 1 8 ounce tube head jig, not really heavy, but it's bullet shaped to cut through the current to go down and try to find the undercurrent that's going backwards. So I'm just casting literally right here. This is the only place I'm gonna focus on. Look at that, nice keeper size walleye. Hope you enjoyed. That was just a quick video, one cast, one fish. Uh, that book I referenced, How to Think Like a Fish by Jeremy Wade, really good. He weaves in actual stories of him catching fish, adventures around the world with the very technical fishing data. So that was a really easy book to listen to on audio from Pittsburgh all the way up to two hours north of Toronto. So strongly recommend that book. I listened to it on Audible. 
It's like $3 for a used one on Amazon. I'll put a link below. Highly enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button. Thanks for watching.